Hello and welcome at Octopus. This is our video tutorial about cleaning the printhead manually inside an Office Jet 6950. This printer is using HP 903 inkjet cartridges. During our tests of our Octopus Fluids refill inks suitable for HP 903 cartridges, it has happened from time to time that some nozzles in the printhead did not work that properly anymore. For that situation we have a simple way to get the nozzles back to work without filling up the waste ink sponge inside the printer. All of the HP 903 cartridges are filled with pigmented printer ink. The ink is stored inside dense sponge material inside the cartridge. And on each cartridge there is an ink chip as well. To gain access to the HP 903 inkjet cartridges, we open the upper lid of our HP multifunctional printer. The printhead compartment moves into the position for exchanging the inkjet cartridges. Inside the printhead compartment you can see the HP 903 single ink tank cartridges clearly. We recommend to remove all cartridges from the compartment when cleaning individual ink colors. By doing so, you have more room available to perform the cleaning. At the bottom you can see that each ink color has its own ink port. The ink port for the black pigmented ink has a bigger diameter. The slot itself for the black HP 903 cartridge is wider because the XL version of the HP 903 cartridge is bigger than the standard HP 903 black cartridge. For our cleaning approach, we use pieces of soft plastic hose whose inner diameter matches the outer diameter on the ink ports. Around each ink port there is installed a rubber ceiling. To prepare the cleaning, we take out the rubber ceiling from the ink port which we are going to flush with nozzle cleaner. Here you can see that being done at the rubber ceiling around the black HP 903 cartridge ink port. When the ceiling has been removed, there's more room available on the ink port's outer rim to slide the plastic hose on. The same we apply at the yellow ink port. Please keep the rubber ceilings. They are installed again after the cleaning is finished. In our cleaning approach we use foil material, absorbent paper material and two pieces of plastic hose. We also use a refill syringe that is equipped with a Lurlock connector piece. Furthermore, we use nozzle cleaner fluid or printhead cleaner fluid made by Octopus Fluids. This cleaner is suitable to free clogged nozzles and clean dried in printheads. We move the printed compartment to the left side to be able to bring in the absorbent underlay. Out of our foil material we have cut a stripe which is approximately 5 cm wide and 30 cm long. This way it fits better into the working area inside the printer. This piece of foil we position now in the middle of the working area inside the printer. The purpose of the foil material is to prevent that the mix of cleaner fluid and ink coming out of the printhead's nozzles is leaking through the absorbent paper material further into the printer. The second layer of our protection is the absorbent paper material. Therefore we have also cut 5 cm wide stripes from simple kitchen paper towel. The advantage of the cut stripes is that multiple layers of them laid above each other are thinner than layers folded above each other. The next step is to position the printhead compartment on the protection. You can lift up the printhead compartment a bit. Push the protection to the left and at the same time push the printhead compartment carefully to the right side. Positioning the printhead compartment right in the middle of the protection supports to take in the cleaner ink mix coming from the nozzles as there is sufficient absorbent material available beside the compartment's left and right side. To clean the ink port of the yellow pigmented ink we use a piece of the thin soft plastic hose. This thin piece of hose is connected to the central piece of the Lurlock connector on the refill syringe. 
Please be aware of that the hose is holding on the syringe just by friction. Pressing the syringe plunger too hard during cleaning can lead to the hose slipping off from the lure lock connector. With the plastic hose attached to the syringe you can take in nozzle cleaner from the bottle. The soft plastic hose filled with nozzle cleaner is set onto the ink port straight and carefully. Press the tube on the ink port and twist it from side to side at the same time. The hose slides on the ink port step by step. You can remove air bubbles which are remaining in the hose by simply pressing on the hose and moving those bubbles into the syringe. Now we start to clean the printer's yellow color. Press the plunger on the syringe carefully in and then release it. You can see that the plunger slides out again by itself. So it can be said that the cleaning is a kind of gentle pumping of the syringe. The effect that the plunger can slide out by itself is possible because there is air inside the syringe. By pressing the plunger this air is compressed and pressure towards the nozzles in the print head is built up gently. This approach avoids to use brute force to clean the ink system. That the color in the process of cleaning is free from ink port to the nozzles again, you can see as the cleaner fluid becomes less in the syringe. And the second indication is that beside the printhead compartment in the protection padding, the mix of cleaner and dissolved inks appears. Here you can see that the absorbent underlay has already taken in a lot of cleaner and ink. The foil positioned in the working area prevents that this, let's call it ink sewage, can get deeper into the printer. Before cleaning the next ink color, we replace the absorbent paper material. And as we have learned from our own mistakes in the past, right after cleaning we install back the previously removed rubber sealing. This way we are not going to forget about this later on. Next we demonstrate to you the cleaning of the ink systems part for black pigmented HP 903 ink. Therefore the soft plastic hose with the bigger inner diameter is pushed carefully on the big ink port. This bigger hose can hold its position by itself when it has been slided on the protruding ink port sufficiently. You can use that position to fill cleaner fluid into the hose without that the tube is connected to the refill syringe. Here you can see that the cleaner level inside the hose is dropping immediately after filling it in. In our case the nozzles for the black ink have not been clogged very badly. So the absorbent paper material can soak in the cleaner through the nozzles out of the plastic hose. Filling the nozzle cleaner into a hose, holding its position by itself, provides to you the opportunity letting the cleaner sit and work on a badly clogged ink port for a long time. The progress of the cleaning you can see in the condition of the paper material next to the printed compartment. And now here's the same situation for the ink port of the black ink color. We put back the rubber sealing in its position. Now we take out the protection padding from under the printhead, this time including the foil material too. We remove both components from the printer's working area. Finally we take our HP 903 inkjet cartridges and click them back into their positions inside the printhead compartment in our HP multifunctional printer. Hereby the manual cleaning process of the nozzles is complete now. Our cleaning approach leaves some nozzle cleaner fluid remaining in the ink system. To get the look of your prints back to normal, you can print out that cleaner by running some test prints. Best is to print on used paper. Please do not waste new paper for these tests. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching. We hope that our tutorial provides some interesting information to you. Please pay also attention to our other information related to HP 903 inkjet cartridges. We are looking forward to see you at another Octopus TV session.